And up next here we have what in my opinion is the best fight on the card. I'm going to be most looking forward to watch this one with Jonathan Martinez and Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson, obviously he's a legend of the sport, but almost 39 years old, 38 years old, 11 months. So he's going to be 39 in two weeks, basically, essentially when the fight goes down. And he's going to be coming down to 135 pounds, I think for the first time ever. And if it's not the first time ever, it's the first time in a long time, at least since he's came to the UFC. and. That kind of alarms me a little bit. I don't really know why Cub is making the decision to move down to 135. I do think he's never really been the biggest featherweight, so I don't know if it's going to be the most like devastating cut in the world, but it's still something that gives me a little bit of concern. It gives me a little bit of a reason to doubt his performance. So I wish this fight was at 145. It was at 145, I would have a lot more confidence in how Cub Swanson is going to look, but maybe he's... Feeling and looking good at 135. It could have a little bit of a resur resurrection like a Jose Aldo or something like that. And recently, Cub has been looking good. I mean, his last fight, he dusted Darren Elk and took him out of there in a really exciting fashion. So that was a hell of a fight for him. But Jonathan Martinez, he's going to be a different story in comparison to Darren Elkins. Elkins is older. He's kind of had the same long career with a lot of damage that Cub Swanson has had. Jonathan Martinez is going to be 10 years younger. He is a guy that... Has won three fights in a row currently. I would say he's kind of underperformed a little bit in the UFC or not really met the expectations that people put on him. He had that fight against Andre Sukumtath where he debuted. He had a bad performance there, but came back. And for a while there, he was looking good. He got that big knockout over Ping Wan Lu with the knee. He got the flying knee over Frankie Signs. He beat Thomas Almeida. And it seemed as if he was maybe going closer to towards being a top 15 fighter. But then he had the loss to Davey Grant. and since then, he's taken that step down in competition and fought lesser guys. He fought Alejandro Perez. He fought Vince Morales. He fought uh, that Georgian wrestler, Lavishvili or whatever. So he has been really fighting the best level competition. And he hasn't been looking amazing. I mean, with Vince, the Vince Morales fight, he won clearly. The Perez fight, he got dropped in that fight. It was a close fight. And the fight with the Georgian guy, it was a it was a pretty comprehensive win for Martinez there, but totally different matchup than what Cub Swanson is going to give him. You look at the David Grant fight, and you see a guy that is, uh, you know, using that that switch speed, kind of changing the pace and closing the distance with real awkward angles, throwing looping shots and things like that. And that's what Cub Swanson likes to do. And he was giving a lot of issues to Jonathan Martinez with that style. Eventually, knocked him out. And, man, I mean, this fight, I think, could go either way. Jonathan Martinez, I really do like his style. He's real slick. He's southpaw. He has really nice kicks. And if this fight stays on the outside, Martinez is probably going to eat Cub Swanson up. Martinez is a guy that, on the outside, he has that real nice left kick to the body. He'll throw knees with that left uh, leg as well, up the middle to the body and to the head. And he'll start attacking the legs, too. So I think in this fight... Leg kicks are going to be a big imperative for Jonathan Martinez. He needs to use leg kicks, use body kicks, front kicks, kicks that keep Cub Swanson on the outside, and then try to counter with that left cross when he comes in or the left elbows, and try to just worry about speed, chopping Cub Swanson. And Cub Swanson, I mean, we've all seen how he fights. He's a super fun guy to watch. He's has incredible boxing. He's super fast. I mean, I don't know... If his hands are going to translate the same at 135, but at 145, he's one of the fastest fighters in the weight class with his hands, and he kind of is very explosive. He throws combinations from weird angles. He'll load up and throw with heat, and he definitely could give issues to Martinez. Martinez is a guy that, on the outside, he's real slick, real pretty, but if you could pressure him, get him on the inside, his defense is not good, and his chin is not good. He's been dropped in multiple fights, he got dropped against Andre Sukumtath. We saw him get knocked out against Davy Grant. He got dropped in his fight against uh, Perez. So I question his chin a little bit, and I also question his defense in the boxing room. Cub is going to have to make this a dog fight. He's going to have to pressure, get on the inside, and uh, force the boxing. And if he could do that, I think he could get the knockout, man. I really... Man, it's a tough fight for me to predict, honestly, because I feel like if this fight was at 145, I would be... Leaning more towards Cub Swanson getting the win just because I think that he could make it more of a dogfight, get on the inside, and eventually really, uh, you know, end up getting the better of it with the with the uh, striking on the inside in the boxing. 
but at 135 i don't know how his body's going to react i don't know if he's going to have uh you know weak body like in terms of can he take kicks to the body too like giga chikatsi finished him with the body kick i don't think martinez has that giga kick level of uh power or precision but if he lands uh some nice body kicks is that going to slow cub down or shut him down um we don't really know cub to the head has been extremely durable i mean we haven't really seen him get knocked out since the jose auto fight way back in the day but maybe that could change at 135 no one really knows and martinez i mean he's just way younger he has better feet faster legs and i think that he's going to be able to chop the legs early maybe eat some big shots i think cubs gonna have some moments but i'm gonna pick martinez to win a close gritty decision here this is a fight that Honestly, though, if Cub looks good at 35, if he looks the same at 35 that he does at 45, then I think he's going to get the knockout in this fight. I just feel like Martinez, defense-wise, isn't the best, and he also kind of has a questionable chin. But the weight cut is really getting to me, man. I really can't vibe with that. I don't really know how Cub's going to look. And uh, just because of that, I'm going to pick Martinez to win a decision.